Let's settle down for the class. <clears throat> Arms and legs comfortably apart. Relax the body from toes to the head. Relax the legs. Relax the back. Relax the arms and shoulders. Relax the neck, head, and the face. Let go in the mind. Slow down the thoughts. Slow down the mind by connecting with the breath. Watch your breathing. If the breath is erratic, try to slow it down consciously. By inhaling, allow the abdomen to expand freely. Hold it for a while. And then very slowly, contract the abdomen to exhale the breath completely. Pause for a while. That's how we slow down the breath. Take a couple of breaths in this way, slow, long, and deep. Visualizing your body as a large vessel. Each time you inhale, you fill the vessel with positive energy. And each time you say, you're emptying the vessel of negative thoughts and emotions. Slowly bring your legs together, interlock the fingers, spread your arms over the head, and a nice stretch to the body, stretch the whole body. Release the stretch, bend the knees, turn over, and sit up for the prayer. Sit in a comfortable position. Put the hands on the knees in Chirmatra. Close your eyes. Let's stand all together, take a deep breath. The Jalanam, Buddha Gladi Savitam, Kapiti Jambu, Palisar Bakshikam. Masutam Choko Ganashi Kardanam, Namami Vinshara Padi Pankajam, Shadanam Tukumarakti Varnam, Bahamadim Devi Bayuru Vahanam, Rudra Sisunam Surasenya Natam, Bukam Sadam Sharanam Prabhade, Yakunde Nudushar Haridabra, Yashi Prabhasra Vita, Yavina Vardandapanditakara, Ya Shweta Padmasana, Ya Brahma Chati Shankara Prabhiti Bheer, Devai Sada Poojita, Sambhaam Padu Saraswati Bhagwati, Nishesha Jarya Baha, Om Namah Shivaya Bhuve, Satchitananda Murtae, Nishprapanchaya Shantaya, Shri Shivananda De Namaha, Shri Vishnu Devananda De Namaha, Om Sarva Mangala Mangale, Shri Sarvartha Sadike, Sharanye Trambake Gauri, Narayani Namostate, Narayani Namostate, Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.
Om Namah Shivaya. Let's get ready for the class. Today we begin with sun salutation practice. We stand up at the top of the mat. Let's first stretch in Tadasana, stretch the body, and then we begin the sun salutation. Coming to the front edge of the mat, bring your feet together, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms away from the body, stretch your arms up as you inhale and come up high on the toes. Let's hold it here, breathe. Feel a good pressure on the toes, lift the heels more up and tuck the abdomen more in, straighten the arms, arms up a little behind the ears. Slowly exhale, bring the heels down and bring the arms down. One more time, inhale, come up high on the toes, arms stretching up, high up. Put the heel, push the heels more up, tuck the abdomen. And exhale, come down. Get ready for the first round of Surya Namaskar. Inhale, feet together. As you exhale, join the hands to the chest in prayer position. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back by pushing the body forward. Look up to the hands. Exhale, stretch the body forward and hands by the side of your feet. Inhale, bring the right leg back. Look up. Hold the breath. Left leg back. Keep the body in a straight line. Exhale, knees, chest, and the forehead down. Slide the body forward. Inhale, arch back into cobra. Exhale, invertibly, tuck the toes in, lift the buttocks up, look to the toes. Inhale, bring the right leg forward, place the right foot between the hands and spread the chin up. Exhale, the left leg forward, shift the body weight forward. Keep the hands or the fingertips pressing down. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back. Push the body all the way forward and look up. Exhale, release. Left side. Inhale and exhale, join the palms together to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and reach down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank pose, body in a straight line. Exhale, knees, chest, and the forehead down. Slide forward, inhale, arch back, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. But press down and lift that energy up. Inhale, bring the left leg forward. Placing the left foot between the hands, spread the chin up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Shift the body weight forward on the uh, frontal part of the feet. Press the fingertips down, bring the chest close to the thighs. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up. Push the buttocks forward and look up without separating the head from the arms. Exhale, release. Next round. With full energy and with full concentration, practice this round. Feet together, inhale and exhale, palms together to the chest. Inhale, lengthen the arms up, push the buttocks forward, look up. Exhale, lengthen the body forward and reach down with your hands and feet in one straight line. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, lift it back, plank pose. Pull the abdomen in, align the wrist and the shoulders. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Slide the body forward, inhale, arch back, relax the shoulders. Exhale, inverted V. Press the heels, press the hands and tuck the abdomen, look to the toes. Inhale, bring the right leg forward. Right foot between the hands, press the chin up. Exhale, the left leg forward, shift the body weight forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Left side, full awareness on the breath, feet together, inhale and exhale, join the palms to the chest, prep position. Inhale to stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, a long breath, come down, three. Inhale, four, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, five, plank pose. Exhale, six, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, seven, cobra. Exhale, eight, inverted V. Inhale, nine, the left leg forward, left foot between the hands, look up. Exhale, 10, the right leg forward, press the hands down. Inhale, 11, stretch forward, reach up, arch back and look up. Exhale, release 12. Third round, feet together, inhale, and exhale, prayer position. 
Inhale, two arms apart back. Exhale, three, stretch forward and down. Inhale, four, the right leg all the way back. Look up. Hold the breath, five. Take the other leg back and keep the body in a straight line. Exhale, six, knees, chest and the forehead down. Slide the body forwards. Inhale, arch back, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Let's stay here and breathe. Push the heels more down. Keep the fingers separated and push the mat forward with your hands. Keep the head in line with the upper arms and push the chest more down, tuck the abdomen more in. It's a very strong posture, the powerful posture, bringing a lot of benefits to the mind and the body. Slow down the breath while you hold the posture. And the next inhalation, draw the right leg forward, right foot between the hands, position nine. Exhale, 10, the left leg forward. Inhale, 11, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Left side, inhale, and exhale, palms together to the chest. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back all the way. Stay here, breathe. See if possible, push the left knee a little more away to have more stretch in the back. Now take a breath, tuck the left toes in, take the right leg back and hold the plank pose. Abdomen pulled in, your back is straight like a tabletop. Align the wrist and the shoulders. Keep the head neutral. Now as we exhale, bring the knees, chest and the forehead down, Ashtanga Namaskar. Weight of the body distributed equally on the eight parts which are touching down. Gracefully slide forward, inhale, arch back into Cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Once again, let's stay in the posture and breathe. Focus on pushing the chest more down without separating the head from the arms. Slow down the breath. Take your time. On the next inhalation, bring the left leg forward. Right knee more away, right knees down. Right leg more back. Stay for two, three breaths. And on the exhalation, bring the right leg forward. Stay in the forward bend. Fingertips, other hands pressing down. Don't keep the arms hanging close, please. Bend the knees and bring the hands down. Try to bring the chest more down, to the closer to the thighs, forehead to the knees. Now as you inhale, stretch the body forward and stretch up. First lengthen the body and then push the bodies forward. Now watch your knees, pull the knees up and straighten the elbows more. And then you push your buttocks more forward without bending the knees. Very good. Slowly exhale, release. We'll do the next three rounds at a little faster pace. So try to adjust with the pace. Keep together, inhale and exhale. Join the hands to the chest. Inhale, arms apart back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back all the way in the back. Hold the breath, left leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. Be straight and exhale, release. Left side, inhale, and exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, lungs up, arch back, follow the breath. Exhale, reach forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest in the forehead. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. 
Inhale the left leg forward, look up. Exhale the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. Exhale, release. Next round, inhale and exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, hand pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inward you do. Inhale, the right leg forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Left side, inhale. And exhale, palms together to the chest. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back all the way to the cup. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forward down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, body B. Inhale, the left leg forward to the cup. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back, look up. And exhale, release. One well, last round, the sixth round, feet together, inhale. And exhale, prayer position, inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, what you do. Inhale, the right leg forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back and look up. Exhale, release. Left side, inhale and exhale, palms together to the chest. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inward you be. Inhale, the left leg forward. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back. Look up, knee straight. And exhale, release. That's very good. Separate the legs apart. Have your arms loose. Keep the eyes closed, relax the body, catch up with your breath. Now please sit down and lie down, pray rest in your back in Shavasana, arms apart and the legs apart. Work to slow down the breath. Once the breath is slowed down, scan the body and let go all the tension and the tightness by reaching with your breath to the tight parts. Relax. We would like to turn the head side to side. Take rest.
Take a deep breath. Join the legs together. Interlock your fingers. Stretch your arms over the head and give a nice stretch to the body. Stretch your whole body. Move the toes forward and pull the toes in. Push the heels out and press the back firmly down. Release the stretch. Get ready for the single leg raises. Fix the arms by the side of the body with palms facing down. Feet together, toes pointing up. Move the shoulders down and bring the chin closer to the chest. As you inhale, raise the right leg straight up. Both the knees should be straight. Go all 10 toes towards the head. Work with your abdomen. Exhale, bring the right leg down. Inhale, the left leg up the same way. Using the abdominal strength. Exhale, bring the leg down. Right leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Right leg up, inhale. Hold the right thigh with both your hands and bring the leg closer towards the body. Now on the exhalation, raise the head up, chest up. And if possible, walk the hands more up towards the ankle. Keep the knees straight and watch your toes. You should find them up towards the head. Gently stretch the chin up towards the right toes. Close your eyes. Slow down the breath. Every exhalation, contract the abdomen and draw the leg closer. So be alert in the body all the time. Try not to bend the knees. You lose the stretch in the hamstrings the moment the knee bends. Lower back pressing down. Try to lift the chest a little more up. Keep breathing. Now, we release the right leg to the right. So make your enough adjustments. Maybe you hold the right toe with your right hand or you hold the leg from outside. So release the head and chest down as you exhale on the and bring the right leg to the right side of the body. The left arm stretches out in line with the left shoulder, turn the head to the left. Or you can keep the head in the center, just be comfortable. Now focus on pushing the right, uh, sorry, the left hip down, the left buttock pushing down, and pull the right leg a little more up. If you're holding the thigh, it's okay, you pull the leg more up, holding the thigh. If you're holding the toe, then also we try to pull the leg more up. Keep breathing. Deeper you breathe, better you do. So just follow this golden rule throughout your practice and all through the day in your life. Slowly, as you inhale, come back to the center, raise the right leg up and you change your hands position. On the exhalation, bring the right leg to the left side now. This is the Sukta Kalanushtasana series. Pull the right leg a little more up and focus this time on keeping the right knee straight and the right shoulder completely on the mat. The head is turned to the right this time. Relax the neck muscles and try to pull the leg a little more up. Focus on deep breathing, slow breathing. Slowly, as you inhale, release the toe hold and raise the leg up. Bring the, arm, bring the arms close to the body. Slowly on the exhalation, you can right it down. That's very good. Adjust your body and raise the left leg up. Inhale. Hold the back of the thigh and bring the leg closer. On the exhalation, raise the head up, chest up and come up. You know how to adjust. So adjust the body for the initial two breaths and then still the body. Close your eyes. Deepen the breath. Feel a good pressure on the lower back. Stimulating the abdominal organs, strengthening the lower back muscles and stretching the hamstrings. Hamstring is a muscle which becomes tighter as we grow older. So we need to constantly work on it. Try to push the front of the knee to the back of the knee so that the knee can remain straight. A micro bend in the knee is fine, but not more than that. Focus on pushing the right thigh down. 
Relax the neck muscles. Now, next in the sequence, we move the left leg to the left side. So, adjust your body accordingly. Either hold the toe or hold the thigh from inside. On the exhalation, bring the head and chest down and bring the left leg to the left. The right arm is stretching in line with the right shoulder. Head can be turned to the right or can be placed in the center. A focus on pushing the right vertebra down. We want to work on the hip joint by bringing the leg down to the same side. So remember this, how you work on the hip joint by pushing the right body more down. Now slowly, as you inhale, come back up, bring the leg up, head to the center, interchange your arms position. On the exhalation, bring the left leg to the right side of the body and turn the head to the left. Press the left shoulder completely down and keep the left knee nicely straight. Bring the leg a little more up, working on the spinal column, working on the back. Keep breathing slowly. And those who are more comfortable, they can just pull the toes in the left toes, tucking in towards the head and then flex the toes. Slowly, as you inhale, come back to the center, arms by the side of the body. On the exhalation, with control, bring the leg down. Let's take a breather, separate the legs apart and the arms apart before we move to the double erases. Now, everybody taking the arms over the head, arms are parallel, bring the legs together, get ready for the double graces. As you inhale, raise the legs up, head up, chest up, and the arms up, point the fingers to the feet. Don't hold anywhere, just keep pointing the fingers to the feet. Slowly exhale, bring the head down, arms over the head, the legs down. Second time, inhale, come up the same way. Exhale, go down. Third time, inhale, come up. We'll do it six times. Slowly, exhale, come down. Fourth time, inhale up. Exhale down. Fifth time up, inhale. Exhale down. Last time, inhale, come up. Now this time, try to lower the legs a little down and lift the upper body a little up. So holding the body at 60 degrees, the legs 60 degrees and the upper body 60 degrees off the mat. Tighten the abdomen, relax the neck. Be patient with your practice, hold for five. Four, three, don't give up. Two, and one, slowly come down. Relax with your head turning side to side. Bend the knees close to the chest and hug the knees tightly. Now on the exhalation, raise the head up, chest up, move into the Bhavan Muttasana. Let's press on the lower back, contract the abdomen and relax the neck muscles, breathe. What a wonderful way to work on the abdominal organs in the entire sequence of these leg raises. Slowly, as you exhale, place the head and chest down, arms close to the body, raise the legs up on the inhalation, and with control exhale, bring the legs down. Take a breather, turn the head side to side, relax in Shavasana. Mm -hmm. Join the legs together, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms up, be good, stretch to the body, stretch the whole body, release the stretch, bend the knees, turn over to one side, please sit up into the child's pose, Shashangasana.
Let's prepare ourselves for the headstand shishasana. First, prepare the body, allow the blood to flow towards the head, relaxing in this position. And please slowly sit up. Those who are not in the headstand, please do your practice of yoga push-ups of the dolphins. Or you try the first few steps of headstand. Or go near the wall and take the support of the wall to come up in the headstand. I am giving the instructions for the headstand. Hold the opposite elbows, measure the forearms along the knees. And stretch your arms forward, interlock your fingers loose way. Lift the body up, place the top of the head down, back of the head against the hands. Tuck the toes in, lift the knees up, and walk forward. Let's breathe here. Everybody can do safely till this point. And also, the next position, bend the right knee close to the chest. Now, if you're ready, take a lift with the left foot and bend the left knee to the chest. Take your time very slowly. Move the knees up towards the ceiling, and then straighten the legs up as in when you're ready. Now relax the legs completely and hold a steady headstand. Any discomfort, any time, feel free to follow the steps and come out of the posture. We try to hold for two to two and a half minutes. Keep the abdomen pulled in so that the back can straighten. Doing excellent, just keep holding. Those who are doing the dolphins, please keep the knees straight and do it very slowly to get maximum benefit to your arms. Close your up into the headstand. If you're very comfortable, please keep the eyes closed. Just a few more breaths. Now separate the legs apart. Bring the legs together. While you separate the legs apart, don't touch the back one more time. Separate the legs apart. And twist your body to the right. Very good. Back to the center. Twist your body to the left. Back to the center. Slowly taking your time, join the legs together. Move the right leg forward and the left leg back. Keep going, keep going, you're doing well. Bring the legs back and switch the legs. Come back to the center. Now mentally prepare yourself for scorpion. Take your time, first take two breaths. If you need rest, you can come down and come up again. Or just come up directly. Bending the knees, arch your back, place the hands by the side of the head, go slow, understand, and then come up. Hands slowly release, and then lift the head up. Go slow. Okay, come down. Very good. Everybody into the child's pose.
Now please sit up and lie down on your back in Shavasana. Turn the head side to side. Slowly bring your legs together, take a breath and lock your fingers, stretch your arms up. Give a good stretch to the body. Release the stretch, get ready for the shoulder stand cycle. Feet together, feet pointing up, arms close to the body, move the shoulders down and bring the chin closer to the chest. Inhale, raise the legs up. Exhale, swing the trunk up and support the back and move the shoulder stand. Now adjust the body the way you want. You can bend the knees to the forehead if you like and adjust your elbows closer, hands more down towards the middle back. When you're ready, please raise the legs up again into the shoulder stand. Adjust your body more if you have to, push the buttocks towards the head and transfer the body weight to the shoulders. Release the pressure from the hands and take the pressure on the shoulders. Once you're there, please relax the legs. The feet, the calves, the shins, the knees, the thighs, the buttocks allow the blood to flow towards the heart freely. Close your eyes and sit the body for the next two minutes. Keep holding. Now let's release the arms, release the hands one by one and stretch the arms towards the feet. So release the right arm and move the uh, point the right fingers towards the right foot. And same way with the left side. Those who cannot balance, please do it for one side and keep the other arm supported. I mean the other arm supporting the back. Nirlamba Sarvang Asana, please hold it. Try to pull the abdomen more in and straighten the legs more. You're doing very well. Breathe, body weight on the shoulders. That's very good. So we've done a lot of work on the abdomen to stay up into this posture without the hand support. Now support the back and lengthen up more. Get ready for the variations in the last and on the exhalation. Bring the right leg with control down over the head. Take your time. Try to touch the foot down. Take your time and we are waiting. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, the left leg over the head. Inhale, the left leg up one more time. Exhale, the right leg down. Move the left leg more away from the right leg. Widen the gap between the legs. Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale, the left leg down. Inhale, the left leg up. 
Lengthen up, adjust your body, separate the legs apart. Inhale, as you exhale, lower the legs to the floor over the head. Just as you do Halasana, bring the legs down and then wherever you are, bring the legs together into Halasana. If you're comfortable, please release the back support and uh, hand support and bring the arms down. You can interlock the fingers and pull the arms away from the body to bring the shoulder blades together and shoulders away from the ears. In this way, we are releasing the pressure from the neck. Knees pushed away from the forehead. Walk the toes in towards the head and try to push the heels more down. Breathe. Do it with full awareness on the breath. Stimulating the abdominal organs. Working on the spinal column. So push the knees away from the forehead to stretch the hamstrings also. Feel a good stretch in the body from heels to the tailbone, tailbone to the neck. Now support the back. Inhale, come up into the shoulder stand. Just be patient with the practice. It's in the mind. Keep following the instructions. We move into the Setu Ban Sarvangasana. Everybody try today. Bend the knees, arch your back, bring the feet forward and down on the mat one by one all together. Very good, Pati, you're going very well. Just arch your back more and you're there. Very good. Now, those who are still supporting the back with your fingers towards the spine, thumbs pointing towards the abdomen, raise the right leg up. Very good. Exhale the right leg down. Inhale, the left leg up. Exhale, the left leg down. One more time, inhale, the right leg up. And the left leg up, kick back up into the shoulder stand. Very good. Everybody try, it's simple. Now to release the posture, lower the legs over the head at an angle, 45 degrees. Place the arms close to the mat, on the mat, sorry. And using your arms as breaks one vertebra at a time, bring the body down. Using the abdominal strength, make the legs down. Don't lift the head up. Very good. Relax in Shavasana. Everybody has done a great job. Turn the head side to side. Relax. Now let's do the Chakrasana. So those who are not doing the Chakrasana, please do the Setu Bandhasana. Bring the heels close to the buttocks with your feet hip width apart. Place the hands under the shoulders. Position the hands right if you like to come up well. Hands, fingers pointing towards the feet. Inhale, lift the buttocks up, press the hands and come up. Very good. Now aim to lift the chest more up to straighten the arms and lift the buttocks more up to straighten the knees a bit. Hold here. 10, 9, 8, Bring the legs together and walk the feet forward. Seven, six, lift the buttocks up, buttocks up. Very good, lift up more, Shalma, buttocks up. And slowly walk the feet back and come down. Hug the knees close to the chest. Placing the hands on the knees. Rotate the knees clockwise three times and anti-clockwise three times. Now, raise the legs up as you inhale and with control exhale, bring the legs down. Get ready for Matsyasana, the fish pose, being come stretch to the body. Slide the arms on the body. Those who like to do it in Padmasana, you can cross the legs in Padmasana and do the posture. Now, inhale, raise the head up, chest up, come up, look to the toes. As you exhale, lift your chest up, arch your back and bring the top crown on the mat. Take the body weight on the elbows and release the pressure from the neck. Lift the chest more up and take a few deep, slow and long breaths. Take a deep inhalation. Reach with your breath to the lower abdomen, working on the abdominal organs. Hold for a while and then you exhale. Slow down the breath. Hold for a while. Count on the breath. 
and do not lose this awareness on the breath. Slowly, as you inhale, head up, chest up, come up on the arms, look through the toes, and exhale, bring the head down, chest down. Release the arms from under the body, rotate the wrist clockwise and anti clockwise. Turn the head side to side. Relax in Shavasana, and then bend the knees, join the soles in together in Sukta Bhakti Panasana. Adjust the feet comfortably so that the inner thighs can relax and knees can come closer down. Watch your back, every exhalation. Press the back to the mat, keep the breath active. Relax. Taking your own time, first bring the knees together and then stretch the legs forward. Give a nice stretch to the body, arms over the head, you block the fingers, stretch the whole body, stretch and release the stretch. Bend the knees, turn over to one side and please sit up. Let's do a few strokes of butterfly first. Join the soles together, pull the toes and flap the knees, be back straight. Shoulders are away from the ears, chin is parallel to the mat. And now stretch your legs forward and listen to the instruction, hold the outside of the left foot with your right hand. So what did I say? Hold the outside of the left foot with your right hand, the edge of the foot, not the leg, edge of the left foot, hold the outside of the edge of the left foot, that's very good, with your right hand and stretch your left arm up away from the body but looking towards the, no, no, sideways. So your arms have to come in one straight line. Not this way, Shamima. Stretch it sideways. The left arm. Yes, and look to the left hand if possible. Very good. Hold and breathe. Hold five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come back to the center. And let's do it for the other side. So hold the outside of the right foot, your left hand this time, and stretch your right arm in line with the left, away from the body, look to the right hand. The palm should be facing forward. The right arm, the right palm, towards the wall. Hold it, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come down. Now, Bend the right knee and take the right foot backwards towards the hip, towards the back. Very good. Separate the knee more apart. Separate the right knee away from the body. So the right knee will come in line with the body. Right knee go thoda follow. Take it away from the body. Yes. Very good. Now hold the right knee with your left hand. Good. Stretch your right arm up. Inhale. 
as you exhale bend down on the left leg just as you do the parivrutta janu shikshasan something like that we are doing keep holding twist the body more open the chest more up vira parikasana keep breathing we need to look up from under the armpit slowly come back to the center inhale and come up now change the side stretch the legs forward bend the left knee move the left foot backwards and then open the knee outwards very good now uh, come into the portion you twist the body and come down holding the knee uh, the left knee with your right hand and the right arm stretching to hold the right toes that's very good sorry left arm stretching to hold the right toes breathe and slowly come up as you inhale exhale release the posture get ready for paschimottanasana stretch both your legs forward arms close to the body hands down lift yourself up push the knees down push the heels down and point the toes up now as you inhale stretch the arms up along the ears lengthen up the body and as you exhale stretch forward and come down to hold the toes so whatever you holding try to bend the elbows so that the body can relax shoulders can relax keep pushing the knees down and keep pushing the heels out so just for a while let's try to bring the toes down and feel a stretch in the shin bones in the ankles push the toes down good and now you point the toes up and hold wherever possible breathe slowly and deeply into the body into the abdomen and this is the time to completely relax the body surrender yourself to the mother earth do not struggle just be with the breath and relax yourself and as you inhale stretch forward and stretch up exhale place the hands behind the body for the come stretch please the head back inhale lift the buttocks up and come up try to bring the feet flat down lift up higher hold for 10 9 each 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and come down relax on the abdomen let's get ready for the back with bend recharging the body for a few breaths be here the modified makarasan big toes together heels apart head is turned to the right one palm on top of the other breathe with full awareness preparing for pujangasana bring the legs together place the forehead down and push close to the chest fingertips in line with the shoulders as you inhale raise the head up chest up and come up keep the lower abdomen till the navel down and lift the chest and the upper abdomen more up this way you put more pressure on the abdomen stimulating the abdominal organs and in this posture the stretch is spreading from the upper back to the lower back so feel it feel it that way 
Come with the chest more up. Hold it. Breathe. And slowly exhale, come down. Turn the head to the opposite side, relax. Get ready for Dhanurasan. Bend the knees, hold your ankles and place the forehead down. As you inhale, raise the knees up, thighs up, head up, chest up and come up. Lift yourself up more, the thighs, the chest, resting on the area around the navel. Chin more up, close your eyes, relax the facial muscles. Breathe. Ten more counts. One, two, higher up, do your best. Three, four, five, combining the stretch of Bhujangasana and the locust in doing this posture, in this posture. Eight, nine, and ten, slowly come down. Release the posture, place the hands under the shoulders, give yourself a good stretch, coming up on the knees and hand, uh, hands. Align the body first, and then and the inhalation, arch your back, push the hip back, stretch your chin forward. As you exhale, round the back, bring the chin in, and the abdomen in. One more time, inhale, stretch the spine, arch your back. Exhale, round the back. Coming back into the neutral position. So now we will be moving into the reclining hero pose, that's the Suttu Virasan. Those who have knee trouble, Please don't attempt this posture. Instead of that, you can do the camel pose on your own. So for uh, the screen, I'm guiding for Sutta Virasan. Lie down on your back. First sit down on your buttocks. Sit down on your buttocks. And then you lie down on your back. And those who uh, cannot do the posture, and if your knees are not bad, you can do it for half a side first. To so see the screen, what we are doing, you have to lie down on the back and relax. If you have knee trouble, try to do the uh, camel pose instead of lying in Sukta Vidasana, or you can do half a side and then change the side. Now, those who are in Sukta Vidasana, as you see on screen, place the hands under the shoulders. Place the hands under the shoulders as you do Chakrasana. Now inhale, lift your head up, chest up and come up. Come up. Your thighs will also lift up. Buttocks will lift up. The same way what you do in Chakrasana, you're doing this with your shin bones on the mat. Very good. Now work your hands towards the feet. Just do what you can. Try it. Kapodasana is what we are attempting at. Come on, move the hands more towards the feet into better. Okay. Now come up. Very good. Just do it this way. One more time. Put the head down and walk your hands towards the feet. Okay. If you're done, please release the posture. Release the legs one by one. And once again, you come up and relax into the child's pose. Everybody now into the child's pose. Widen the knees apart. Sit between the heels. Stretch your arms forward. Just be comfortable with whichever posture you are doing now. The child's pose, modified or the traditional Sushankasana. And slowly sit up. Get ready for the half spinal twist. Lower the body down to the right side. <clears throat> Bring the left foot across the right thigh. Place the left hand behind the tailbone. Stretch your right arm up, inhale, lengthen up. 
As you exhale, twist to the left, lean forward, push the outside of the left knee with your upper right arm toward the ankle and look to the left shoulder. Close your eyes. Feel a good pressure on the abdomen. If the pressure is not taking place, you need to move the leg a little closer towards the body. Both the sitting bones should be on the mat and the chin is close to the left shoulder. Breathe. Now as you inhale, raise the right arm up and exhale, bring it down. Change the side, sitting to the left side of the body, bring the right foot across the left thigh. Both the sitting bones on the mat, place the right hand behind, raise the left arm up, inhale. As you exhale, twist to the right and push the outside of the right knee with your upper left arm to hold the ankle. Look to the right shoulder. Close your eyes, adjust your body and still the body. Breathe here. Slowly, as you inhale, raise the left arm up and exhale, bring it down. Hug the knees close to the chest. Sit up straight. As you inhale, stretch the chin up towards the ceiling. Hold for two breaths. Keep the mouth closed. Exhale, bring the chin down close to the chest. Inhale back to the center. Exhale gently, turn the head to the right. Shoulders should not be raised up. Drop the shoulders down. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, turn the head to the left. Inhale to the center. Exhale, lower the head to the right. Inhale to the center. Exhale, lower the head to the left. Inhale, come back to the center. Take your time and please stand up. Get ready for Parivritta Utkatasana. So, uh, keep the feet together. Bend the knees. Bend the knees and more down. Push the buttocks more down. As though you're sitting on, a, on an imaginary chair. Now, get the hands into the prayer position to the chest. First, hold here. Keep pushing the buttocks down. Keep squeezing your knees and thighs closer. When you look down, you should be able to see the toes. That's how you do it. Breathe, five, four, three, two, one. Now, twist your body to the right and bring the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. The right elbow should be pointing up and you're looking up. Very good, breathe. Twist more. Come back to the center and then twist to the other side in the same way. Hold it here. Keep breathing. Parivrita Utkatasana, the revolved chair pose it is. Push the buttocks more down. Don't let the knees extend forward. And slowly come back to the center. Release the arms and come up. Very good. Now use the length of the mat and separate the legs apart. Get ready for Parshutanasana as the forward bend. Turn the right foot to the right. Now the two ways, either you stretch the arms up or you bring the hands on the back into the prayer position. So turn the upper body to the right and find your way. Either hands into the prayer position or arms are stretching up or just you see, as you see, she isn't blocking the fingers. Do it either of the ways. Inhale, as we exhale, stretch forward and down on the right leg. Keep moving the arms up if you're interlocking the fingers. If your hands are in prayer on the back, try to move the hands more up towards the upper back. Keep the right knee straight. And if none of these work, please release the hands and place the hands on the calf or the, in the shin or the floor. Both the knees are straight. Slowly inhale, come, come up and turn to the other side. Move into the posture. Parshutanasana.
Come down, please. Inhale, stretch and exhale, come down. Move the arms more up in order to bring the head down, chest down. Very good. Inhale, slowly come up. Release the arms. And now prepare for Trikonasana. <coughs> Separate the legs a little wider. Turn the hip, turn the right foot to the right and left foot slightly in. The hip should be facing forward. Inhale, stretch the left arm up. As you exhale, bend the body down towards the right. Let the right hand freely slide down the right leg and push the right uh, body a little forward to keep the hips square. Look in front or look up, keep the left elbow nicely straight. So you should feel that stretch from the uh, left foot, from the edge of the outer edge of the left foot to the fingertips of the left hand. Don't lose the stretch at all. Hold it, find a balance. Inhale, slowly come up and exhale. Bring the arm down, let's change the side. Right foot in and the left foot out, the hip facing forward, stretch your right arm up, inhale, lengthen up the body. As you exhale, bend down to the left side. Feeling a good stretch in the right side this time, from the foot to the fingertips. And you must know that if you're uncomfortable in the posture, you should try to separate the legs wider than what you're doing. Slowly, as you inhale, come back up and exhale, bring the arm down. Join the legs together, come to the front of the mat, time for fun relaxation. And please don't leave the class for your information. Let me say we have not done the pranam practice, so we'll be doing it after waking from relaxation. So please don't leave the class. Slow down the breath. Let's take a breather before we begin the dancing and relaxing the body parts. Now to tense the body parts, raise the right leg two inches off the mat, tense the right leg, tense it and drop it down. Left leg two inches up, tense the leg, tense the leg and drop it down. Lift both your legs up, close to the mat, tense, tense and drop. Squeeze the buttocks off the mat, tense the buttocks, tense, tense and drop. Contract the abdomen, press the lower back down and let go. Lift the chest up. Lift it up, 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 and drop it down. Now squeeze the shoulders into the ears and push the shoulders away from the ears. Raise your arms two inches up. Clench your fingers tight around the thumbs. Tighten the fist tight, tight. Open the fingers and from shoulders to the fingertips. Tense your arms, tense your arms and drop. Tense all the facial muscles to the nose. Tight, tight, and let go. Open the mouth, stretch your tongue out, open the eyes wide, look at the forehead and stretch all the facial muscles. Stretch, stretch and release, close the mouth. Move the shoulders more down and very gently turn the head to the right. Bring the right cheek down. And very gently move the head towards the left, trying to bring the left cheek down. Inhale back to the center. Now make the final adjustment to the body with your shoulders away from the ears, chin close to the chest, arms at 45 degrees to the body or six to eight inches away. Legs comfortably apart, feet relaxed to the sides. Once again, mentally scan the body. If you need more adjustment, please go ahead before we still the body completely. Breath is slow. Let's now mentally suggest the body parts for a good relaxation. Next the toes. Next the soles. Next the knees and the ankles.
Relax the shins, the calves. The knees, the thighs, the buttocks. Relax the joint. Feel a good relaxation to the legs. Your legs are completely relaxed. Relax the abdomen and the chest. Bring the awareness to the back. Relax the lower back. Little back, the upper back, legs, the spinal column, below the back, to relax down gravity. Feel good relaxation to the back. Back is completely relaxed. Bring the awareness to the arms. Flex the fingers. Bones in the wrists. Flex the forearms. And close the upper arms. Flex the shoulders. Shoulder lifts. Space between the shoulder blades. Relax the neck muscles. The back of the head. The top of the head. The forehead. The eyes, the nostrils, the cheekbones. Relax the ears, relax the jaw, and the throat. Feel a good relaxation to the arms, the shoulders, the neck, and the face. Feel that lightness in the upper body. Feel the lightness in the whole body. Moving the awareness. We go to the internal organs in the abdomen. Visualize each organ. Papa suggests send awareness to each organ for good relaxation. Relax the lungs, relax the heart, relax the brain, all the internal organs, 
part of the question. Next. Become aware of your mind. Let go completely. That's the mind. That's the mind. Mind is relaxed. Mind, body, and breath are in harmony. Next. Next. Draw the awareness back to the body, the toes, the fingers, the feet, the hands. Shake out the legs and the arms. Very gently turn them from side to side, bringing life back to the body. Taking your own time, draw the legs together, interlock your fingers, spread your arms over the head. Give a good stretch to the body and release the stretch. Bend the knees, turn over to one side. Take a breath here. And slowly support with your hand and sit up. Get ready for the practice of Kapalavadi. Sit in a comfortable position. You can sit on a cushion or just the way you want. Hands on the knees in Chimukra. Taking two breaths in here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
the first round of the Palakati. Come aware of your abdomen. Inhale deeply and begin. Manju, 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 Take a deep breath in here. 
Bring your awareness to the third eye center. Hold the breath. Inhale a deep, comfortable, long breath. Gently hold the breath for one minute. You can release the breath in time. Keep the back straight and the shoulders don't back, just open. Relax the face, relax the body. So exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Adjust your body if you have to and get ready for the alternate posture breathing. The right hand in Vishnu Mudra, left hand in Chin Mudra. Keep the back straight. Block the right nostril with your right thumb. Pull the left inhale. On one, on two, three, and four. Hold the breath. Close the nostrils. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right, on one, on two, on three, on four, on ten, on eight, on ten, on eight, on ten, Lift exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Lean left on one, on two, on three, on four. Just be hold to the nostrils. Bring your awareness to the third eye center. Keep the body relaxed. Mentally repeating your Asura Mantra, or the Asura Mantra, that gives you better concentration. Right, exhale, of one, of two, of three, of four, of five, of six, of seven, of eight. Inhale, right, of one, of two, of three, of four. Move the breath, close the nostrils. Left exhale on one, on two, three, four, five, six, and seven, or eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four, and the breath. Right exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale right on one, on two, on three, on four. And gently close the nostrils. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Be left on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath, close the nostrils. Relax the body, relax the mind. Right exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale right on one, on two, on three, on four. Keep the breath close to the nostrils. Keep the chest open and the shoulders roll back. 
become aware of your body and also become aware of your mind. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four. The breath flows the nostrils. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four. In the breath, close the nostrils. Relax the face. Soften the eyes and the forehead. Relax the jaw. Relax the neck, the shoulders, back of the head, top of the head. Relax the ears. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four. On the breath, this is the last round. Right exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four. On the breath, last breath, retention. Through the left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight, bring the hand down. Move the hands on the knees in chair mudra. We'll sit in silence for the next 30 seconds. For those who like to lie down in Shavasana, please take a quick relaxation before we end the class with the prayer. Those who are in Shavasana, please stretch the body, turn over and sit up. We end the class with the final mantras. <coughs> Yajamahe, Sukhande, Pushti Padana, Udvar, Kumiva Padana, with your Mushia Mamrita, Om Triamakam, Yajamahe, Sukhande, Pushti Padana, Udvar, Kumiva Padana, with your Mushia Mamrita, Om Triamakam, Yajamahe, Sukhande, Pushti Padana, Udvar, Kumiva Padana, with your Mushia Mamrita, Om Sarvesham Sustair Bhavatu, Sarvesham Shantir Bhavatu, Sarvesham Purnam Bhavatu, Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu, Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha, Sarve Santu Niramaya, Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Makashetu Bhagave, Asitoma Sarkamaya, Tamsoma Jyote Kamaya, with your mom, Vitanga Maya, Om Purnamada, Purnamidam, Purnam, Purnamudachate, Purnasya, Purnamadaya, Purnameva, Vashishate, Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thanks to our masters, Ariyam Dasan. Thank you, everybody.